Hello everybody, my name is Sean. Um, I just want to thank everybody uh, for coming to the party this week, for hanging out, for engaging in posts, for supporting your hostess. You know, she's going to win um, a lot of free Scentsy products and half off items for all of your purchases. So I just want to again thank everybody. Um, and if you didn't buy anything and you were engaging in posts or participating in the games, that's awesome. Uh, if you didn't find something this time around, that's that's okay. Um, join my VIP group and we'll check and see um, if there's some things in the future that you would like. Um, I'll keep you updated on the latest Scentsy deals and clearance items and sales and new products and limited time offers. I also give away prizes and games um, in my VIP group. Um, so definitely join um, if you still want to keep updated with Scentsy. But what I wanted to do now is I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of go over some Scentsy products. As you can see, I have some Scentsy stuff behind me. I just kind of want to go over some of our popular products. Um, if you have any questions at the end of this video, um, please just message me directly or leave a comment under the video and I will answer any questions you have about any of our products. Um, during this video, I'm going to give away three keywords. Uh, just write those words down at the end of this video. If you have all three keywords, just message them to me and then you'll be entered in for a raffle for a free full-size Scentsy item. It'll be a raffle at the end of the party. Um, so with that being said, I'd like to get started. Um, first, what I wanna do is kinda go over the main items which are our warmers and our wax bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the wax bar because that's really what makes Scentsy what it is. Uh, so I'll just grab the whole dish of them here. So we're gonna grab one of our wax bars. So this is a Scentsy wax bar. And as you can see, if you open it up, it's flat. And you're gonna have, trying to count there for a second, you're gonna have nine cubes. Or excuse me, you're gonna have eight cubes. I'm having a day. Um, but basically you can break them off into the cubes, you put them into your warmer, you melt the wax. Um, and this is really what we're referring to when we say our Scentsy bars. Now, the nice thing about these Scentsy bars is they're made from 100% food grade paraffin wax. Um, so if these happen to get ingested by animals, if you have any pets at home or your kids, uh, you don't have to call poison control, you don't have to worry. These bars are um, non-toxic, non-poisonous, uh, it, it's going to be okay. And I know some of these scents can really, they smell really good, they smell delicious like food and you're like, oh I want to try this, like this Blue Grotto one, I'm not going to lie, is amazing. Mm. But um, these are safe, so you don't have to worry about that. Now. Um, these bars, they say an average bar is going to last about 20 hours in your warmer. Now with every fragrance um, or different scent, you know, it's going to um, have a different kind of lasting time based on uh, the fragrance. But on average, about 20 hours. I honestly change my warmers out about once every two days. Um, I feel like they do last around at least two days, if, sometimes maybe three depending on the scent, but it can get weaker. Um, so it really depends on how strong you like your scent. But um, yeah, definitely at least 20 hours, just something good to know. And obviously we have over uh, 80 different scents uh, right now. So if you're interested in clean, fresh, floral, citrus, woods, um, let me know. I can make some suggestions or send you some samples, uh, but just definitely keep that in mind. Uh, and then obviously I want to go over our warmers and our warmers as you can see I have a ton behind me here uh, I'm just going to kind of go over some basic warmer information here so the main warmers that we have use light bulbs uh, to warm so uh, we'll look at this one here this is our stargazer and I'm actually going to turn off the lights so you can kind of see these a little better uh, Alexa turn off the kitchen light please Okay, so that just kind of lets them illuminate nicely. Um, I'm gonna go over uh, some of these individually uh, and then some of them are you can just see are in the back. So this one right here is going to be our uh, stargazer. So it's got some beautiful, kind of looks like fireworks shooting out. Uh, if you use a different colored bulb, you can really get different colors illuminating from that. But what a lot of our warmers have and I wanna show specifically is they have a little dish that you can just pull out and you can put the wax melt right in. Now, as you can see, I just picked this up right off of that. And what's really nice about these, and the reason we say warmer is because we're not burning anything. Since he's big on, we're just melting. We're using a 20, 25 uh, watt light bulb, either 20 or 25 wattage, not too hot. 
Uh, you're not going to burn yourself. Kids aren't going to grab this. Pets aren't going to grab this and hurt themselves. Uh, so really, it's really nice that you don't have to worry about anything burning. There's no candles that are lit. There's nothing that you have to worry about. Did I leave that on? If you leave the house, these are safe. You know, you're not going to cause a house fire. You're not going to get damaged. You're not going to get hurt. Um, so that's something that's really nice about these warmers. Uh, with these dishes, you'll also notice that on the bottom of the dish, it has a little number. And if you can see here, this one has a four. So that lets you know how many cubes of the wax melts that you can put in at a time. Um, so you should never really go above four in this. Another thing I will say is don't keep adding into your wax dish. Uh, I see people make this mistake. You don't want to, you don't want to have a fragrance that's been in there and that's sitting there. This fragrance is gone after two days. So you just throw another of the same fragrance on top. It's, it's mixing in with the old. You don't want that. So what I recommend doing is always emptying it out before you put one in. And based on how strong you'd like your scents, um, you can use one, two, four at a time. I'll be honest, I never really go above one. I find most scents with one to just be very filling. Now, I also do have multiple warmers in different rooms, and I usually put the same scent throughout so it kind of fills in the house. And then the following day, I might do, or the following, like, two days later, I might do a different bar. I'll empty all these out, and then I'll do a different bar of the same scent, but like a different scent than what I was doing, but again, the same scent throughout the house. Um, and the reason I do that is because there is something called going nose blind. If you consistently use the same scent, you're not going to smell it as well. I can't tell you I've left the house before to take my dog for a walk or to go run errands. And I come home and I'm like, oh, and I'll smell it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I have that, I have that warming. But it's because I, if, if I don't, if I keep using the same scent, I become nose blind and I don't get to enjoy it. And let's be honest, these are not only to be enjoyed visually, they're to be enjoyed, uh, aromatherapy wise so I definitely want you to make sure you're getting the best uh, bang out of your scents um, so yeah the nice thing again about these dishes though is they don't get hot so that you can pick them right up if they don't hurt you you're good to go now these are uh, so these warmers are the, the bald ones usually have a dish now some of them are like this Winnie the Pooh one I'm going to show and this Winnie the Pooh honey pot actually picks right up. So as you can see, I can pick the entire dish up and then here's the warmer. And as you can see, again, not, I'm not, I'm not hurting. Like it doesn't, it's not too hot. And these have been on an hour before I started this guys. Um, and you'll see that there's a light bulb there now. Um, this just, the whole dish just sets over the light bulb and it has a little hole in the back to let the cord go through so that it sits evenly. And actually all of Sensi's warmers do that. They have like a a cord for or a hole for the cord so you don't have to worry about unevenness tipping over they've got you covered um i will say right now as you can see that with this poo warmer i do have a green light bulb down and the only reason i point that out is because since he has lots of different light bulbs so they have like blue red purple green uh yellow basically there's some warmers and the, I, the honey pot is one of them as well as the stargazer uh that we were talking about earlier that a different light bulb really just kind of like changes up the mood. So if you don't want to spend $50 on another warmer or 35 or 40 or whatever type of warmer you have or interested in, you can grab a new light bulb, a different colored light bulb, put it in. It changes the look and feeling and it, you know, it just kind of like, I, I find as much as I love scents and you know, those bring me uh, happiness. I also love colored light bulbs. I have them in my lamps. So I like to change like the light, uh, the lighting of a room, the color, and I just find that it takes me to like a happy place. So I definitely recommend if you are a Scentsy beginner, I recommend grabbing a different, couple different light bulbs to go with your warmer. If you're a Scentsy pro and you don't use different colored light bulbs, I would just recommend giving that a shot. Uh, now, we went over the light bulb warmers. What I wanna go over now um, are element warmers. So our element warmers, for instance, are like this aloe right here. So you can see this is like an aloe tree. Uh, Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights, please. So this just looks like a plant. And I'm actually gonna unplug this and bring it to you because the big thing about these is that they do not have light. So as the regular warmers, that since these, you know, originally ended with in 2004, started with light bulbs, these ones are going to use an element plate. And as you can see with this one, it's basically, it looks like a nice aloe plant. And then it's got a little dish inside. 
Uh, and then that dish just sits on top of a warming plate. So same concept, it's gonna plug in. Uh, again, it has that crevice in the back so that it doesn't tip or anything. It's gonna plug in and then it's gonna warm itself um, and you're gonna get the scent that way. So if you have light sensitivity, uh, if you work in like an office with a lot, like a lot of light in the room or something and you just don't want more light, these are perfect. Uh, definitely some, something to think about, again, if you're not interested in light bulbs. And then some of the element warmers like this one don't even have a dish, you just actually put it directly in. So this is a dachshund. Um, I just recently adopted a dachshund, uh, doxy poo. So she's a dachshund and a miniature poodle, so I had to get this. But if you see this one, she plugs right in, and then it just, it's a basin. And you just clean that out when you're done and to refill it with a new wax melt. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, again, no light or anything, and you're good to go. Now, one thing I want to talk about, too, is changing your wax. So I have met people who will, like, turn it off, and then they will, like, try to chisel out the wax with, like, a knife. Please don't do that. You're going to scratch up your warmer, and you're not, you're not going to be happy. It's going to be messy. Just don't do it. So what I recommend doing is just buying cotton rounds, like flat cotton rounds or, like, the puffy cotton rounds, the spherical ones. And when the, when the wax is melted, you just want to put that, the, the cotton around in there, let it soak up all of the wax. It only takes literally like a minute, 30 seconds. Uh, and then dispose of that in the garbage. And you don't have to worry about any sort of mass or damaging or breaking. Uh, besides that for the warmers, I want to go over our other type of uh, Sensi product here. And this is our diffusers. So these are our fan diffusers. Now this one right here, you can see it plugs into the wall. It has a lid like this. Now, as you can see, this doesn't hold wax melts. So these are a little different. They're actually gonna hold our pods. So you see two pods come in a case for 10 bucks. Basically the pods, as they come out, they just plop right in, just like that. And then you just screw that on and you're gonna plug this into the wall. Now, these are really nice. You're gonna get, I believe, and I apologize, I just don't wanna give you wrong information. These you are going to get a hundred and I believe 80 hours of fragrance. So these are gonna get 180 hours of fragrance in a pod. So they're really good for high traffic areas. Uh, when you look at ones like this, you can actually, it actually holds two. So if you put two in there, you're gonna get extra scent, it's gonna be stronger. Uh, one thing I've, I've heard people love to do is they love to mix and match scents. So you can kind of be your own mixologist uh, with scents instead of liquor, uh, which can kind of be fun. Um, I haven't done that yet myself because I'm scared of creating something just awful, which I can't imagine is probably easy to do, but I just know who I am. So we'll see if I decide to delve into creating my own scent, but it's actually something really fun. And as you can see, these just plug right into the wall and again, there's a button you click on and it's a fan. And the fan's gonna go, it's gonna spread. I recommend these for high traffic areas. Um, I recommend them for bathrooms, dorm rooms. Uh, these are just gonna really create a long, strong, powerful scent for a while. Um, so definitely something. And they're just made of a hard, thick plastic. So another interesting thing to do. And then back to the wax mounts for one more second. I didn't let you know about the plug-ins. Um, so our Scentsy plugins, we have glass and we have ceramic. So I'll show you two examples here. So this is a ceramic. This one is Southern Hospitality. Uh, if you didn't know, it's shaped like a pineapple because a pineapple is the international symbol for um, hospitality and welcoming somebody. Um, fun little fact. So this one, you can see you put the wax up here and it plugs into the wall. Um, and then you just flip the switch on the front and it'll turn on. Now, what's great about these is these are going to fit any nightlight you have, or excuse me, any outlet. So, you know, if you have outlets that have the two prongs on the top, you know, you're good to go. But what if they're on the bottom? So there's a little button here, you click it, and then this just rotates, and then you're good to go. And you can fit it. I mean, even if you have an outlet that's sideways, which if you do, maybe you should call an electrician. But if not, uh, <laughs> you can get it to fit, so you're going to be good to go. Uh, and then the same thing. So there's a ceramic and then the glass. Uh, the ceramic, you can tell because the bottom 
looks like this. So it has two little pronged areas and then the light just goes in there. As you can see, there's two little prongs on the light and then it just twists and then it's securely in there. And then at the glass, this is one of our lilac ones. You can see the detail as I hold it up. This one really shows when it's on. But same thing, it's gonna twist like that. And then this one's just gonna slide right on. Now, one thing I love that they've done with these glass and ceramics, um, let's say you wanted these, but you wanted to make them a table warmer. Maybe you're like, hey, listen, I don't wanna plug into the wall, but I think like a cute little table warmer would be nice for these. They made bases for these, and check this out. This is so simplistically easy, I love it. They have a base for the glass and a base for the ceramic. So the glass, just like you think, goes right on top, screw it in, it comes with its own light bulb already, so you don't have to replace the light bulb. And you're just gonna plug it in, and now you've got one that sits right on a table. And the same thing with the ceramic. I'm just gonna grab the ceramic, and just like it is on there, those two prongs, you just match them up, twist, and you're good to go. Boom, tabletop. Couldn't make it easier. And so this is kind of really fun. Now the tabletops are sold separately, but they do come with their own light bulb again. So you're not worrying about changing the light bulb, you're just changing the base. So again, it's kind of a way to have versatility, change things up in a room. First it's on a wall, then you wanna move it into another room on a table, you're good to go. Maybe in a child's bedroom, change it from a nightlight in the bathroom, good to go. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty much a more basic warmers. And I am gonna go a little bit more into the diffusers. I kind of jumped the gun there, so I'll do that uh, when we get there. Um, at this point, what I wanna do is I wanna give you the first word. So the first word of the prize raffle is going to be wax. Go figure, super easy. We just talked a lot about it. First word is wax. Uh, now I wanna move on. Um, so we moved in from our warmers and we went to talk to our nightlight warmers. Uh, I kind of want to talk to you about, believe it or not, Sensi uh, has a pet line. I should do not a pet line. Now, I'm sorry, I just made myself laugh. Now, uh, with our pet line, we have three different products. So I'm just going to go over these real quickly with you. Uh, real quick things about these, they're just um, you know natural ingredients. They're not going to be harmful for your pet. Um, I really enjoy them. I love making my dogs smell fresh. You know, they go outside, they track in dirt. You want to keep them clean. So really quick, we have three products. Uh, we have the Best Bud Sud Shampoo. It's gonna, it's your typical dog shampoo. I just like it because I can get it in Scentsy um, Scents. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's more amazing than any other uh, dog shampoo that you're gonna get, but I do love Scentsy Scents. So if you, if you want to have these scents on your dogs, this is pet safe. I would go for the Best Bud Suds Pet Shampoo. And then um, these two, which I actually absolutely love. We have the No Not Spot Dog Detangling Spray. So this one I have in Tea Tree and Peppermint, which I love, it's a very crisp, clean smell. But with this uh, No Not Spot Detangling Spray, it's exactly what it says. When you spray it on your dog, it's gonna give that fragrance, but it's also gonna help you comb out all the knots. Uh, and so it's really good for grooming. If you have a dog with curly hair, I do, as I told you about my dachshund, who's also a poodle, uh, so she's long body, lots of curly hair. Uh, this, this works great on her. And actually, I'll show you just so you can see, this is the type of fur she has. So she is a curly baby, and I use that on her. Right, Bailey? Yeah. I use that on her, and she absolutely loves it. Um, or at least I love the smell of it, and I like that she doesn't have tangles. And if she could talk, she would tell me that she loves it. Now. Besides that, the third line we have is the Freshen Up uh, Dog Deodorizing Spray. This is great in between baths. So if you kind of are like me and you'd like to bathe your dog every week, but you just don't have the time sometimes, um, this is really good in between baths. I laugh because my partner not so happy probably that I don't do it every week, but these are great in between baths. Uh, it's just a freshen up dog using spray. Think of it like a dog cologne or a dog perfume. Just spray it over the dog. It gives a relaxing smell. You can massage it into the fur uh, and it really, it does a good job. It holds up well. So if you have pets, please check that out. Uh, next, I wanna go into the laundry line. Um, so basically, this is Sensi in a laundry product. We're gonna have a laundry liquid. Uh, we're gonna have a scent soft. 
And then my absolute, absolute favorite, we have washer whiffs. Now this is the big tub. It also comes in a smaller tub. I just absolutely love these that I dove right in for the big tub. If you can see these, um, most people compare these to like Downy Unstoppable, but I consider it like Downy Unstoppable on steroids. So like, look at these crystals, guys. These are just, I mean, uh, when I smell this, I get so happy. Uh, basically, I use all of these together. You don't have to. I find that it gives it the ultimate scent. And when you use these all together, I find that I can use less pumps. So a lot of these things you're gonna get like 50 loads out of for like the big scent sauce. Um, the, you also have dryer discs. These are gonna go for about like 15 cycles. Um, you get two discs in there, so good for 30 cycles. Uh, but I find if I just do like a couple pumps of the softener, a couple pumps of the detergent, uh, liquid detergent, and, a, and then just like a scoop or two of the washer whiffs, I'm in heaven. Now I don't do this for my regular laundry either, so I, I wanna point that out. Um, some people, you know, they, they like their clothes and everything to smell like these awesome scents. I don't, I like my clothes to just be my clothes and I like to use regular, I just use my regular little Tide Pods for my clothes, but when it comes to my pillowcases, my bed sheets, my comforter, this is it. I gotta tell you, like there's nothing better after a long day, I'm exhausted, falling into my bed and smelling this is my favorite clothesline. I also have Amazon Rain that I'm about to do, um, so I'm excited for that. But I just, I just love falling asleep into my bed and just, oh, it's great. I can't, I can't describe it. But when they're all together, it just really encompasses an amazing smell. And one thing I recently learned about these dryer discs, which I cannot wait to do with my new one. Uh, you can see it's just like a hard. I don't want to call it plastic because plastic makes you think it's going to melt in the dryer. This isn't. Uh, this is just gonna hang out in your dryer and it doesn't stick or anything It just hangs out loose in the clothes for 15 loads. Just keep it going, you know, whatever um, What I was doing was when I was done I was taking it putting it on top of the dryer um, and then putting it back in for the next load but then what I found as a secret was if you have uh, Washer whips you can literally just keep it in there and then it's encompassed in its own fragrance and it makes it last longer so I'm going to be using that Scentsy hack pretty soon and I'm kind of excited about it. Okay. So the laundry line, as you can see, really gets me excited. If you have any questions or you need any samples again, you'd like some washer whiffs, I'll be more than happy to send you a sample in the mail so you can take a scoop, throw it into your laundry and see what you think about it. Um, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Um, and I would love to send you some samples if you would like me to. Sorry, I just had to take a drink there. Now, the next thing that we'd like to do real quick, or I'd like to do real quick, because there's nobody here with me, is um, our cleaning line. Or not cleaning line, excuse me, our body line. So the body line, we have, you know, some basic body items. We have your hand soaps that are gonna have your scentsy smells. We have the body wash. You can see I have Mystery Man here, Shimmer. Uh, there's gonna be your typical body washes, hand soaps. They're all natural. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna give you that Scentsy fragrance. So if like, I like to say Scentsy is a lifestyle brand. Um, it's evolved so much more than just what it started with as the warmers. And as, you know, people start embracing the fragrances and really liking them, they like to, you know, pick these up and carry them with them um, and use them in their day-to-day -day activities. So if there's a fragrance that you really like, you're like, oh, that warmer, that smells really good as a body wash or a hand soap. Here you go. Um, incorporate it into your life even more. I love these products. I think they're great. This Mystery Man body cream, for instance, I love putting this on um, after a shower. One thing I love about um, Scentsy's body creams, they're not, I don't want to say this, kind of like a lotion stop. So they're, I, I don't like lotion to like that goes on and it feels thick. Um, you know, you, you can feel it sitting on your skin or it you look wet when you're done with it. Like it just, that skews me out. So one thing I love about Fancy is that I don't have that. I don't have a thick feeling. It goes right on. It literally just kind of like absorbs and it's done. And then I have an awesome smell. I just, mystery man's one of my faves. It's kind of like a very cologne masculine smell, which masculine, but I enjoy. So definitely I, I think if you're into the Scentsy scents, uh, go for some of the, try a body cream, try a hand cream. Um, I, I promise, like I said, the absorbability is great and you're gonna enjoy it. So I say, treat yourself. Another way to treat yourself 
is our aloe water and cucumber scentsy soaks and not just this one but really any of the scentsy soaks um i'm not a bath person and i wanted to preface that by saying i'm not a bath person because this isn't just for baths people think of a soak they think of you get in a bath you, you know you have to like throw this in you have to soak and that's just not what this is um it is that if you take a bath you can soak i shouldn't say it's not what it is but it's more than that it's like an aromatherapy so i'll show you what it looks like it just has these powdered i just spilled some but it's just like a powder um and basically oh, it smells so good uh you can sprinkle it at the bottom of your tub and let's say you fill it up and you take a tub cool enjoy your tub i call them tubs people call them baths but you get to take your tubby tubby time bath time uh and enjoy an aromatherapy while getting a nice soak but another thing to do with these is give yourself like a foot soak or an aromatherapy while you take a shower. So like before you get in the shower, you plug the drain, just sprinkle this into the bottom, turn the shower on. While you're showering, you're going to get that aromatherapy, which is awesome. I really enjoy a shower. It has some aromatherapy. I used to spray eucalyptus oil into the steam as I took a shower to have that smell. Now I use Scentsy Soak. And then that just, that smell comes up in the air while I'm showering. So bringing me to my happy place, and then you're also getting a foot soak. So it's kind of like a two for one. And you don't need much. Literally, I just do a scoop and I'm good to go. So these are products that, you know, you are really going to last you for a while. And I think that's one of my favorite things about Scentsy is like how long things can last. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a bang for my buck. I know that you see a lot of these other products from other competitors and you think, well, their price is cheaper. Why don't I go for them? I gotta be honest, and it's not because I'm a Sensi consultant. I I love Sensi before I became a consultant, and one of the reasons I loved Sensi was how long their products lasted. I felt like I was getting more bang for my buck because I did this. I went to Walmart and grabbed those cheaper cubes or you know soaks, and I was like, oh, you know, like this is really good, and I just I wasn't as satisfied. It was either generic smells or it wasn't lasting as long. I put a cube in, and it was you know not smelling six hours later. Um, so definitely, I think. They really put effort into their products into making the scent last longer so you can have that enjoyment longer. Um, so yeah, so there is the Scentsy Clean Line. And before I go on, I want to tell you one thing about the washer whips that I didn't real quick, and this is because I have ADHD and my mind goes nuts. But the washer whips are also not just great for laundry. And when I say that, I mean like cleaning. So carpets, if you sprinkle it on carpets before you vacuum, it releases the fragrance into the air. So you've now got clean carpets uh, that you've vacuumed those out of, and it doesn't color or disdain the carpet or anything. And then now your room smells like that fragrance. They also are great in, uh, if you have mudrooms and you keep your uh, like bunch of shoes in there and you have shoes that smell, sprinkling them in your shoes, sprinkling them in a gym bag. Uh, so they really, it, it's versatile, and that's what I like. This tub, you're gonna want to use it probably just on your laundry alone because you're gonna love it. But if you have other uses for it, this is great. I know some people also put it in a mop bucket. They dump it in the mop bucket. I haven't tried this one, and then mop, and then it smells like the scent as well. So just some other things for the washer whips. So I just I want I want to let you know those before we go on. Uh, also, I want to talk about Scentsy Clean. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold you up a long time with Scentsy Clean. Um, but I love Scentsy Clean too. Um, I love specifically the bathroom cleaner. So one of some of the main products I have is a counter cleaner. Uh, you will see my post this week to see how it, much it makes things shine. We also have bathroom cleaner. This cuts through like soap, grime, dirt. I um, have before and after pictures that you should have seen during my Facebook post as well that show the difference between for and for and after, so you can kind of see those. Um, we also have a dish soap. This is really nice because it doesn't leave residue. You don't get a soapy feeling after you like drink out of a glass or something that you've used with dish soap. Uh, so it's a nice clean dish soap. You're just gonna have that kind of nice fragrance without the taste, because you don't want to taste anything in a dish glass, you know? So you want to you want to use this to clean, get that fragrance, but you don't get that taste. And that's really what they did well with this. Um, and then we also have the all-purpose cleaner concentrate. And this is $18, for instance, for a jug, but this is a uh, highly concentrated and needs to be diluted before using. So you get a lot of bang out of this. Um, actually, just to say how well it works, um, we actually have somebody that comes to clean our house every couple of weeks just because 
we just have a lot going on. Um, but she, this is before I was a um, Sensi consultant. This is what my this is what the woman who comes for us uh, uses. She uses Sensi bathroom cleaner. She uses the Alba Pro concentrate. And when she saw that, I sold it. She's like, "Oh, can I like just start buying that off of you?" And you're here. And, and I was like, "Yeah, absolutely. Like, come on." But I just I think that's a testament to kind of showing how great their product is. You know what I mean? Because if it wasn't that good, somebody who professionally cleans wouldn't be using it. So I just kind of love that. She loves the Blue Grotto and she loves the Squeeze the Day, which Squeeze the Day is like a version of a lemon and it's one of my favorite wax warmers or wax bars. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, and then we have a Scentsy Fresh and this is gonna be like your uh, version of Febreze. Um, and again, I just like how long this lasts. So like after I make my bed and my new sheets, uh, that I've used my washer whips in and all my crazy Scentsy stuff. I like to spray all the pillows and then the sheets with the Scentsy Fresh. So it's kind of like a, like again, like it's like Febreze, but it's gonna get that lasting smell. And again, you're gonna get Scentsy's trademark fragrances, which is something you're not gonna get from Febreze. Um, but this is really enjoyable. And as you can tell, all of this washer um, and dryer stuff and laundry line, clothesline is one of my absolute favorites. It's just what I do. It is a nice clean smell. Um, so let's see. We did the clean. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do our second word. Don't know if I'm doing it too early, but that's okay. Uh, second word is gonna be warmer. So you already know what the first word is. Second word is warmer. And now we're gonna go on. So I'm gonna go back to the diffusers. We went over that little diffuser, uh, the plug-in diffuser rather and how it works with the, with the fan and everything. There's also two other ways to use our diffusers, which are really kind of fun. Uh, the first one is gonna be our Scentsy Go. So this is Scentsy While You're Traveling, which, how fun is that? Uh, this is gonna be charged by just a little USB cable that's gonna come with the USB cable as well. And then you can get this charged, you drop in those Scentsy pods that we went over, the little circular pods, right into there, one or two, you don't have to fill it to the top, one or two, put the lid on, and then you turn the, hit the button in the back, and it's good to go, it's powered. It's battery powered, now you have fragrance on the go. So a lot of people use these on car trips, if you want it in the car, uh, hotel rooms, if you're going on business trips or just family vacations or whatever, this is great for a hotel room to give that fragrance, that scent that you want. Um, but wherever you want Scentsy to be, this is what this allows you to do. It allows you to bring it with you. So definitely a nice, cool little thing. We have this in different colors. This is just the basic white. Um, but I love Scentsy Go. Like, who doesn't, right? And then the last one, which is super easy, are our Scentsy um, diff mini, mini diffusers. Now, the mini diffuser is only going to hold one pot at a time. As you can see, it's very shallow. And it's going to plug in with a USB cord. It's going to come with the cord as well. You can see the cord goes in the back and then the USB is what's gonna turn it on. So these are great, I like to tell people for college students, um, they can plug them into their laptops or they can do them in their computers in their dorm room. It's also good if you work from home and you, again, you want that fragrance without a light going, uh, this is really gonna fill up a room. Again, long lasting, uh, good for high traffic areas. I really feel like the, diffuser or excuse me yeah I really feel like these fan diffusers are kind of like going towards the future a little bit towards away from the wax like, I love the wax love love of the wax I don't want to say anything bad about the wax but I just feel like the way these encompass a room like one of my um co-workers had made a comment when she bought one of these she was like I feel like I'm in a tropical island uh because we're all working for a moment and she's like I feel like I'm from a tropical island and that's great like that's really what it's about right is the fragrance bringing you somewhere making you feel some, you know, some sort of way. And I, these are great at that. Apologize if I stutter. This is just who I am. <laughs> um, now, let's move on to, we did our body. Uh, let's do our big diffusers. Um, so we have premium diffusers and I just kind of want to go over them. We have our regular diffuser on the end here. So this is this big circular pod that you've been seeing change colors probably while I've been talking. Um, it's a hard thick plastic. And like, as you can see right now, it's rotating colors. Now this has 
a couple different settings. I have it set to where it's rotating through colors. You can also set it to where it is just a solid color. And then the bottom is going to control how much steam uh, is getting pushed out. So these are for people with the essential oils. You know, those are the rays right now. Uh, they're going to last uh, actually quite a bit. I want to, where's my cheat sheet here? I want to let you know the truth. So we're going to get about um, four to eight hours of usage with our premium oils in this uh, diffuser. So I think what's really nice about these are, again, with the one on the end, it's just, it's a hard plastic. And if you want that oil and that scent from that oil to go through the room, this is a great way to add moisture to the air um, and shoot through. And I'll just show you up close. Like I just took the top off that. And it's just, again, like a hard, thick plastic. Um, one thing, I'm trying to think. No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Sorry. So, this is just a good way to introduce to our premium diffusers uh, and getting into our oils. Now, the other one that I like is our premium diffuser. Now, that's this beauty right here. Uh, this is what really excites me. When I saw these, I just got really, really excited. Uh, this is going to come, as you can see. I'm just gonna lift off what's known as the shade. And then this is just what it looks like for the base. So when you first buy this, you can buy just the base. You can buy the base plus a shade. And then you can also buy the shade separately. So it's kind of like an investment. Once you buy this base, then you can just buy any shade you want to place over it. Uh, I'm just gonna carry this over so you can see. Probably turn off the Right now, it's, this shoots a finer mist. You can see that it's shooting a very sharp mist into the air. Our premium diffusers shoot a very fine mist into the air. Just want to turn it off before we go over it. There we go. So what's cool about this one is it's like a little cup. So when you have to fill it up, you can just grab the top off, put your finger there, flip it over, fill it up with water, and then go back and pour it in. And then again, this is going to get you about eight hours of usage. Um, this lasts longer than the first one we just went over. And again, this one has 18 different um, LED lights and you can set it to kind of go through like I have it right now, or you can set it to a solid color. But what's really cool about this, you can see like we have this shade on. So first we have this shade. This is really pretty. As you can see, I just wanna show it up close. It's got all these beautiful colors. And again, every color, that you choose to set it on makes it different. So that's really fun. Um, and then let's say you wanted to change it out. So like here's another lampshade that I have. And then that's how easy it is. You just pick it up and you put it over. And then I've got a whole new diffuser right in my room. And there's so many cool different diffusers or shades, excuse me. So this one's our Ascend. You can see, I kind of think this looks like an alien egg but that's kind of cool and sci-fi to me. But again, it just pops over and then you can see it just, it takes on its whole own, it takes on its own thing with the lights and that's what I really like about it. Um, I just think these are cool if you have people coming over, they're kind of like a talking piece, like, hey, what is that? Where'd you get it? That's so cool. You know, and, and people kind of really like it. And then we don't just have these like bold shades, we have shades like this. And I think these are really fun too. So this one looks like woods. This one right here, I just got on our clearance section for $15, guys, like $15. And I have a whole new premium diffuser. And as you can see, these ones just pop right over too. Super easy. It just slides right in. Sorry, I do have to use two hands. It's still easy, but as you can see, two hands. And now I've got a whole new kind of light thing. Now I know you may seem some flickering while I'm talking about these. These are a solid light. It's just flickering because of the video. It is not a flickering light. It's a solid, solid color. And again, super easy. You just change things on. Just like that, you're good to go. So definitely premium diffusers, while they might seem 
I think, kind of expensive in the beginning. Uh, they are an investment that pays off and uh, is really fun at the end. And if you really want one, you want to host a party, earn off half off credits, and you're going to get that baby half off. Uh, so talk to me if you're interested in hosting a party. We'll get you qualified so you can get one of those at half price. Uh, I know that's why I threw a party before I was a Sensi consultant, and I got one, and I love it. So let me know. Now, besides our premium diffusers, we also are going to talk about the uh, stuff we have for kids real quick. So we have Sensi Buddies. Now, you've probably seen uh, the octopus guy up there. And I think his name's Ollie. I'm drawing a blank on his name. I think it's Ollie. But you can see here we have Eeyore and we have Tigger. So these are our Sensi Bunnies, all three of these guys. And these are great for kids. What these do is they, they hold a scent pack. And you can see here, like the scent pack, it just zips in the back. Put the scent pack in and then zip her up. And so you have like a stuffed animal for your kid, but then it has a nice Sensi scent inside the scent pack. When you do purchase these, uh, Sensi does ask you what scent pack you want with most of them. Some of them come with a specific uh, smell or a specific fragrance of a scent pack but a lot of them you just get to pick. So Eeyore, for instance, I think is really fun. The tail comes off and it's just a magnet, so it clips back on, but it's, it's cute. I, I believe Eeyore, if I remember correctly, would lose his tail all the time. Um, so it's just kind of playful, but again, it's like a scent to carry with your children. They get to enjoy Scentsy, they can cuddle this, that they smell great. Um, you know, just a nice childhood character for your friend or for your child. Another thing that parents like to do with these I can only talk, talk about this because I don't have children, but they like to use these as tooth fairy pillows. Um, so what I've heard parents do is they unzip the back and they put the child's tooth like in a Ziploc bag right in here and then zip it up and then, you know, your little kid goes to bed with the stuffed animal or with the Scentsy Buddy and when the tooth fairy comes, it's a lot easier to find the Scentsy Buddy and then get the tooth out, put something back in there, whatever the tooth fairy leaves, and put it back in, than it is trying to find a tooth under a pillow um, or as the Ziploc bag. So I've heard that this turns kind of the tooth fairy into a much more exciting adventure. Uh, so I think something definitely cute to try out if you're interested. Uh, and again, we have tons of Scentsy Buddies. So you can see we have Tigger here. He's the same thing, a zip in the back. And then our little octopus guy here, he is out of clearance. Um, and I just love him. You can see he's got lots of tentacles. And with this one, he is actually still a scent uh, pack right in the back. It goes right in. And then there you go. Scent packs are also good not to just go inside of these guys, but they're good to go inside gym bags and um, backpacks. Uh, so definitely um, multi-use if you don't want to use it just for a Scentsy Buddy. But these are cute for the kids. Another thing we have are buddy clips. And I do have one here to show you. This is Twiggy the turtle. So basically you get to choose um, the buddy you want and then they come with a scent. So Twiggy is with Sunkissed Citrus and they come in a little container like this. And then when you unbox them, I enjoy the smell because it is awesome. But they basically are just kind of soaked in that scentsy fragrance. They have beads inside of them. Um, these are going to last up to 30 days, 30 to 60, they say. And as you can see, I take him out. He comes apart, like not comes apart, but unfolds. And you can just clip him onto a child's backpack, lunchbox, um, hang out in the bedroom. And then again, these guys smell so good. And then your child's going to have that scent and a little buddy. So even when the scent runs out, now they've got a little buddy or a little animal. Um, and there's like, not just the animals, there's um, fruit. I've seen we have an avocado right now. So just lots of fun little um, children's characters that they can take with them. And who knows, maybe kids will end up liking to trade them or whatever kids do. But I don't know because I never was one. But uh, these are definitely fun for the little ones. And they make great stocking stuffers. So something definitely the parent gets to enjoy because they get to enjoy the, the aroma. Uh, and then the child gets to enjoy because it's still kid friendly. So definitely look at these if you're interested. And then, let's see, a couple more things to go over, and I think we're going to be good for the party. I have our fragrance flowers. Real quick, I know I made a post about these. I just wanted to show you what they look like up close. 
So this is an unused fragrance flower. As you can see, it's got its rope right here, like stem, and then it just goes right inside of the fragrance container. So you get the fragrance container and then you just drop this in there and then this is going to give you fragrance for 30 to 60 days. These things pack a punch. So I say these are great again for guest bathrooms, um, small living spaces, maybe like a little office if you if you can't have um, like scented candles or uh, something somewhere. And obviously I think after all of this, why would you want a candle anyway? But <clears throat> These are great for small spaces. This one's Fiji Flower. And again, they pack a punch. And the really fun thing that you could do with these is make it like a little project for yourself of creativity or for a child. But if you take permanent marker and use whatever colors you want and you just fill the edges of the flower, as the flower soaks up the scent, it's going to spread throughout the flower and it's going to make the colors bleed. So if you look at the Facebook post that I made this week, you can see some beautiful flowers. I'm actually going to leave this one out after this video and I'm going to make uh, my own colored one so I can show that as, a, as an example in the future. Uh, I've seen the pictures, they're beautiful, but I really wanna do my own. So definitely these are kind of like a fun little gift and like little arts and crafts project for a kid, honestly. So something to think about. And then I'm sure somebody's in our website. I just want to go over real quick. We have scent circles. So if you like have a scent that you want to try and maybe you don't want to spend a lot of money on it, but you want to get like a nice little whiff, you know, these are constantly $3 or lower on clearance. Uh, we also have them in the bundle and save option. If you want to get three or six at a time, these are really fun to check out fragrances. You can hang them in your car, hang them in lockers, uh, and really just get that scentsy frag fragrance. Um, it's, and then uh, go from there with what you like for, for a fragrance and decide what you like. I will say we also have little mini car discs and car bars that you can put in your cars. Uh, and those are going to last about 30 days as well. So definitely thinking about the automobile, these are good. Or again, to just like kind of try our products. All right. So I have one last item that I want to go over with you. And again, thank you so much for coming to the party this week. I've been having a really good time. Um, this last thing that I want to go over is truly one of, I think, the most exciting things we have. Um, I love surprises. Uh, I love how our society's kind of gotten into these box of the months clubs. Um, I do one for my dogs, for instance, where they get treats and toys. And finally, I decided that I'm going to do one for myself. And what I decided to do is go with our Scentsy Whiff Box. So the Scentsy Whiff Box is $30, uh, and it's going to be packed full of full-size and uh, deluxe samples of Scentsy items. So basically, if you are somebody who constantly sticks to like the same fragrance and you don't really venture out from your comfort zone, these are kind of fun because they're gonna get you not only into different things that Scentsy offers, but also different fragrances. And you're going to maybe get out of your comfort zone and try things that you never have before. Uh, I know that's really what it's done for me. Um, this right here is currently the June Whiff Box. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to kind of go through this so you can see an example of what a Whiff Box is. Again, they're $30. You can sign up for one month at a time, three months, six months, recurring subscription. However you want to do it, you get to cancel at any time. There's no enrollment fees. Again, super simplistic. Everything inside the box, if you totaled it up per value, is going to be more expensive in total than the cost of $30. So you're getting to try Sensi items and you're going to get them at a discounted price, which who doesn't like to save money and try new things? Weirdos, that too, in case that question wasn't obvious. So this scent box is called Pineapple Perfection. So I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not a big pineapple person. So when I first saw open this up and saw this, I was like, all right, pineapple, let's check it out. But you know what? There's been some great things in it that I actually am happy about. So the first thing you do is when you open this one up, it comes with pineapple straw decorations. So they always do some sort of cute little thing. One time it was like a dish cloth when they introduced some like dish uh, stuff and then 
this time it's pineapple straws that you can cut out and you can put over your straws. So that's something cute that they will do to throw in. And then here's the items. So first one is our body cream. This is going to be hibiscus pineapple. Again, we went over kind of our body creams and I feel about them, but this is a full size sample. I have not opened this one up to smell yet. I'll admit this is a smell that I have not tried, um, but I am interested in obviously opening it or maybe it could be used as a, a prize for somebody in one of my parties. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. Then it came with two full size uh, wax melts. So we have O Snapdragon, which I have to say, absolutely awesome i'm i'm usually a clean scent person i'm not big into the fruits but mm, snapdragon kind of smells like it's like fruity but with a scent like a little bit of clean underneath like it's, it's really nice and then we also have the scent of the month which is a peeling apple and this i have to say is also a really good smell and i was surprised because apple is not something i go for but this is like a very clean apple. Like mostly when you see apple, it gets mixed with cinnamon or honey or some sort of smell and it's just, it's not apple. This is, this smells like, it smells like clean apple. And that I can get behind. Uh, very refreshing smell. So besides those two full wax bars, we also have a scent circle. This is pineapple pucker. And then we have two big samples of pink cotton scent soft and pink cotton laundry liquid. And then we have a big body wash of pineapple coconut vanilla. So again, our body wash line, now you've got the wash and then you've got the body cream. So this is gonna be a nice little thing for like a day that you're getting ready and you wanna pamper yourself. And then one thing that I really love about these boxes is they usually always give you a sneak peek at the scent of the month for the next month. So for July, stargazing will be the scent of the month and they give you a very decently sized wax melt. Uh, this is probably two cubes, I would say, in one. Um, and again, it's a scent that people can't get yet. So you're getting it ahead of time and you get to sample it. And stargazing, I'm excited for, cannot wait to get it. Uh, this kind of reminds me I know this is probably really hard to explain, but like that smell at like at, at night, like at midnight when it's like <laughs> when the air is crisp and clean and like it's just it's a really good smell. Um, I'd have to look up what their official definition is going to be of stargazing, but I like it and I'm excited. And again, you get it ahead of everybody. It's a month ahead. So it's kind of fun. You get to know what's coming out. Definitely consider the scent box if you like to kind of explore, again, uh, the whiff box, excuse me. The whiff box is going to really help you see what Scentsy has to offer and maybe get you out of your comfort zone and try new items. So at this point, um, I think that that kind of wraps up some of the main things I wanted to talk about. Thank you so much for your time. I know it's been about 50 minutes, so I really appreciate uh, you watching the video. Um, I know I do have a third word to give away. And that third word is going to be whiffs. Uh, so the third word again is whiffs, W-H-I-F-F-S, as in our washer whiffs or our whiff box. Um, again, send all three of the words that I've said throughout this video uh, and send them to me and you'll be entered into the end of the party raffle to win a full-size Sensi item. Um, again, I just wanna thank everybody for coming to the party, for hanging out. If you have any questions about anything Scentsy, please let me know. I am here to make this a great experience. This is no pressure to buy. This is just hanging out, trying to experience some senses. If anything makes you feel good or anything you're interested in, go for it. Ask me, ask me anything. If you want any samples or to try anything, let me know. I'm more than happy to help. Uh, and if you don't find anything this time, that's okay. Join my VIP group and hopefully we'll find something for you in the future. Um, but either way, Thank you so much again, everybody. I have had a wonderful time this week with you guys. And again, if anyone wants to host a party, let me know. I would love to do that for you. You don't have to do anything. You just literally have to invite people. I will create the Facebook group, the banner. I will do all the posts. I will 
get your party engaged. I will do the games, the prizes. All you have to do is click that invite button and get people into the party. It's that simple. So if you've enjoyed this party and you're like, I kind of want to do that for myself and I want to get free Sensi items, let me know. It's super simple. And we can set up a time whenever you'd like in the future. If there's a specific time that you want to do it, that's what we'll do. Um, but again, thank you everyone so much. Uh, I look forward to uh, finishing up the party with you guys and you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.